I had a question from a viewer about numbers in your target language and how to learn them and how to learn them well. Perfect way to ask the question that they asked. They just, they put it on that joke of a video I did and just said like, this has nothing to do with this, but here's, here's a question that I have. To be fair, that video had no reference point. It had nothing to do with anything really. So there was no way to be relevant in that video. Anyway, yes, I do have an answer for you about how to get better at numbers in your target language. I'll see you next time. <laughs> and the reason that I'm doing a whole video response to it is that it's a really good question, actually, and it's underrated all the time. Steve Kaufman has talked about this as well. Counting in a foreign language is not as easy as you think. Well, counting can be kind of easy, but numbers are not easy. When you think about the fluency that you have with numbers in your ta in, in your native language, it's insane. Like the, the time that it takes your brain to go, seven times seven is 49, right? <laughs> just took my brain a little bit too long to do that. We can be certain that this is difficult. Even if people want to pretend that it's easy, it's not because the military of almost every country has a test to determine how well people will attain a foreign language if they try to, right? If they're put in the linguistic program, the, the military, how well they will do it, uh, do at it. And I have done this test and it's hard, right? It's really stressful. And one of the things they test is numbers. They make up a language and they give the language new numbers that you've never heard before. And just like a real language, they'll sometimes make the words for like 20 and 30 and 200 and 300 related to the words of two and three but not exactly the same. And then they'll just fire them at you really quickly and you have to say what they are. And it's really, really hard. Numbers in foreign languages are hard. It's a great question because most people don't want to ask it and they want to, exp they want to pretend that because they can count from one to 30, then they can do anything in that language, but it's not that simple. Anyway, this was meant to be a quick video, so let's get on with it. Yes, I do have an answer for you. Drills, drills work for numbers. Drills work for anything where the pattern is very, very repeatable and predictable. I'm going to need this. I did actually film a video about this around two months ago and I never uploaded it because it was crazy out of focus and it just looked horrible and it was just a really bad video and I was like, no, 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 no. You count as you tap the thing. It's pretty self-evident. But if you're slow and you still need to learn to count really well because you're not that good at it, you can just hit it higher to give yourself more time. And as you get better, you hit it lower. So, eight, four, three, four, five, six, two, eight, nine, ten. One of the really cool things about that exercise is that you can scale it in different ways. You don't have to just make it more difficult linguistically. You can make it more difficult physical coordination wise, right? You could get two of these, because most of them come in twos anyway, and go one right hand, one left hand, one right hand, one left hand. It depends how physically coordinated you are. You can also flip it as you do it. If all that's too easy, or when it gets too easy, you can do the sorts of things that native speakers will have basically grown up doing. So things like counting by twos, counting by threes, counting by fours, counting by fives. And you think, when have people done that? Well, they do it when they need to count large groups and stuff, right? It's much harder than you think to say, harder than you think, especially when you're doing it under pressure. The goal you're trying to get to is where the numbers mean the same thing to you as they do to the native speakers, right? When numbers, when native speakers say 172, they don't need to consider that as a secondary thing. They know exactly what that actually means. And I know your question was about comprehension of the numbers, not just about speaking the numbers, but as your fluency with speaking the numbers yourself goes up, your comprehension of them will go up. But if you wanna work very specifically on your comprehension, what you need to do is have a native speaker basically say numbers at you, preferably sums, so that you have to do it all in the target language and you say the answer back. Now they shouldn't make the sums mathematically complex, at least not at first, so that you have to struggle with the maths. It should just be like 72 plus five and you say equals 77. If you do that for 10 minutes a day for two weeks, that's 140 minutes you will be amazed at how, how good your numbers get. That's 
how I get really familiar with them is trying to spend as much time in the numbers as possible. But like I said, times tables, the ping pong thing, the native speaker giving you sums thing, all that kind of stuff. You only need to do it for five minutes a day for a couple of months, you'll be totally good. I hope this helped you and whoever else is watching, I hope it helped you too. If you want more language learning tips and more information on how to actually learn a language to fluency for real, then hang around and subscribe and I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.